Alright guys, what up? It's your boy 1904 Comics. Today is Thursday. Gonna make a video yesterday because I had family over. My niece was running around acting a fool. I don't think you want to hear the bratty ass in the damn video anyways. But um, yeah, I got four books to show you guys that are new. I got three back issues. I mainly went to the comic book shop, obviously for my new stuff, but to pick up one back issue. But two of them were on that Dollar True Believer Try Me sample type books. So I picked them up. But um, let's get into this week's haul, guys. I got Invisible Republic number two. Now, this one was an excellent read. You guys remember in the first issue, um, Arthur and Maya, they were fighting those one soldiers. Arthur killed them. And this one picked up kind of where that left off. It shows them picking up the, the mess, hiding evidence, disposing of the bodies and stuff like that. So um, after that, they go to the city, they're trying to escape, stuff happens, it's a cliffhanger, it was a good ass read. On to Deadly Class, issue 12. And yes, by the cover, there is a cliffhanger at the end of this one. This one picks up where Marcus, or when Marcus was walking out that building with that dude's head in his hand. There's a big ass group of dudes waiting for him outside. Chaos happens, and um, it was a good ass read. That's all I got to say. Exciting. A bunch, <laughs> a bunch of violence in this issue. And um, yeah, it, just, it was just a fun read. Manifest Destiny, issue 14. I kind of skipped this one real quick. I don't really remember the last issue. But um, in this issue, it shows a new character, at least from the quick couple pages I glanced at. So that's exciting. Here's the Batman Arkham Knight, issue number three. Now, I was kind of skeptical at this at first, because I thought, you know, they're going to make a comic for the game. It's going to suck just to get, you know, gamers to buy the comic type of thing. But it's been a really good read, so I'm happy about that one. Now, on to the three back issues. Rat Queens was the first one up. One dollar. Now the trade's only five bucks, so I didn't really pick it up just to save money. Um, just picked it up just because it was a dollar. Now this trade, Civil War, this one is a little bit more pricey. Nothing expensive, you know, like, like you're gonna go pro picking it up, but things like close to twenty bucks, seventeen, eighteen, twenty dollars, something like that. So I said, you know, I picked this one up since it was there. The art's cool, the story seems like it's all right, then I'll pick up the trade. If it sucks, well, I save some, some money. But this is the main reason I went. Excuse me. Harley Quinn issue 15. I went, I was like, I'll pick up a Harley issue. And um, it's a random one. Read it. If it's cool, then I'll pick up the trades. And I must say, the first time I read Harley Quinn, I kind of went into it of a more serious tone. I was expecting a lot out of it. So when I read this one, I said I'm going to put, you know, that whole, you know, opinion of what I think it should be like aside and just, just go with it. And it was just a fun read. Don't take it too seriously. Just, a, like I said, just a fun read. Nothing to tell the world about, but I enjoyed it. And the trades right now, I think like 13 bucks, the hardcover. So I'll be picking them up. I enjoyed it. I liked it. It was fun. So that's that. Um... Yeah, I made an in-stock trade order that was being delayed, but I finally got the confirmation that it was shipped yesterday. Happy about that. My Marvel Core, the Loot Crate style box, was shipped yesterday, so I'm happy about that. That stuff was being delayed. And, um, what do you call it? Tuesday, I was going over the videos on YouTube, and I noticed I was picked number one for Tom Ray's contest. Man, that made my day, I'm not even gonna lie. I never won a raffle in my life. And when I made my contest entry, I wasn't expecting to win anything. I just did it because Tom Ray's a cool dude. You know, we've been having Google Hangouts with J-Rocks as well. We've been getting to know one another, so I just wanted to support his channel. And um, <laughs> I wasn't expecting to win nothing. And when he pulled my name out of the hat, I was like, what? You know, when people win the lotto, they have other people read the numbers. You know, hey, make sure I'm not tripping out. I'm like, is this real? Before I, you know, make a big old excitement type thing out of it. That's how I felt. I went over the video like, I'm say like six, seven times probably. I like, play. 1904 Comics. Uh, rewind. Let me do this again. 1904 Comics. I was getting happy and happier and happier. And then finally at the end, I was like, yeah, I freaking won. <laughs> Just, it was one of those things like you never win the contest. And then finally, like, you, <laughs> your name's pulled and it was like freaking exciting. So, that made my day, man. Pretty happy. I wasn't expecting to win. So, <laughs> that was pretty cool. 
Anyways, that's all I really got for you guys. Like I said, I got that Marvel Core box coming. And I have one Loot Crate. Maybe I'll like do a comparison. Is Loot Crate the Batman box? Their big anniversary one. This is Loot Crate or uh, Marvel Core's first box. So I'll kind of compare them maybe. But um, as always, guys, that's all I got for you guys. But peace out. Like, subscribe, share. I'll be checking out your videos pretty damn soon. And go sub to Tom Ray. Cool guy. If you ever want to have a Google Hangout with us, let us know. Leave a message. Hit us up on Twitter. Doesn't matter. We'll be more than happy to chat with you guys. Peace out, people. Laters.